Along Thimble Lane Trails by Gilbert Beers, illustrated by Helen Endress. Along Thimble Lane Trails. Maxime Muffin, give me back my Buffy Bear, Minnie shouted. Things like this sometimes happened when the muffins ate dinner at their picnic table by the big tree in the backyard. As usual, matters went from bad to worse, and from worse to worst. Nobody knows who started it. No mommy or poppy in the whole wide world is smart enough to figure out who starts what. It's always he did or she did, as usual. Maxie did this because Minnie did that. And Minnie did that because Maxie did this first. So who can figure out which he did it first or she did it first is really first. Minnie shouted when Maxie grabbed her Buffy bear and ran toward the big tree with him. Maxie shouted back, when Minnie threw her glass of water at him. Then, Maxie threw Buffy Bear high into the air by the tree. But Buffy Bear did not fall into the soft grass. Instead, he popped into the big hole in the side of the tree. Maxie! Minnie shouted so loud that the leaves sighed. Get my Buffy Bear out of that tree! Poppy looked up when he heard that. He looked at the hole through which Maxie had thrown Buffy Bear. Then he looked at the big hole at the bottom of the tree. Buffy Bear lay just inside that bottom hole. He could reach Buffy Bear easily and bring him out. But first, Poppy had an idea for some stories. I'll help Maxie get Buffy Bear for you, Poppy said to Minnie. But first, why don't you join him? In that dark hole? Minnie asked. Not me. I'm afraid of dark holes. Poppy smiled. You won't find Buffy Bear waiting in the dark hole, he said. You'll find him on the other side of that hole, along Thimble Lane Trails. Maxie and Minnie knew by the twinkle in Poppy's eyes that he had some good stories to tell, so they settled down on the soft grass to listen. I can't go with you on this trip, said Poppy. You two will have to go alone, by pretending, of course. But as you do, remember this. The Lord goes with his people everywhere, even in strange places, and he goes with little people as well as big people. In one pretend moment, Maxie and Minnie were through the hole where Buffy Bear had fallen, they were floating down through the dark center of the tree. Maxie, I'm shrinking, Minnie cried out, and it's dark in here. I'm scared. Remember what Poppy said, Maxie reminded Minnie. Maxie and Minnie landed softly at the bottom of the tree. They expected to see the picnic table through the hole at the bottom. Instead, they saw a strange path into a strange land. But I'm still scared, said Minnie. Remember, Maxie started to say, what Poppy said, Minnie added. Are you ready to come with me? A voice said. Max, what was that? Who was that? Minnie asked. Let's ask, said Maxie, and remember what Poppy said. Maxie and Minnie tiptoed outside. They looked this way, they looked that way. Then they saw who had spoken to them. Buffy Bear, Minnie shouted. But you're as big as we are. <laughs> no, you're as small as I am said Buffy Bear. Welcome to Thimble Lane Trails. Would you like to go with me? Yes, said Minnie, and we will remember what Poppy said. Won't we, Maxie? So Maxie and Minnie took Buffy Bear by the hand. Then the three of them went off along Thimble Lane Trails. <laughs>